We have seen the administrative policies adopted by Akbar as well as the religious standpoint which has been adopted by Akbar that was very secular and that was the main reason to be successful Mughal ruler of amongst all. Here in this context you have seen Jabd a new kind of tax system which was introduced by Akbar and that was the main mastermind who introduced about this plan who has taken that initiative to introduce that is Todarman the finance minister of Akbar. 
here you must be aware about the fact that at the time of ting tax the assessment of the land and the amount of produce that should be assessed properly and then only the collection of tax or rather revenue that can be appropriate and useful for the royal treasury so that very carefully and intellectually todarmal has introduced this system and akbar has given his consent on the basis of 10 years period one particular land being assessed properly according to the cultivated crops on the basis of that the tax has been fixed it is uh, differing from one crop to another crop throughout the year and it is for the 10 years then the amount of tax has been uh, declared so that was very efficient but this system is also having uh, some flaws this revenue system was known jabt and which was prevalent in those areas where the mughal administrators could survey the land and keep very careful accounts but this was not possible in the provinces such as gujarat and bengal so there the administrative control was not so prominent in this context uh, two more problems arise that is the conflict between the zamindars and as well as the uh, mughal uh, employees sometime they have uh, done uh, some corrupted work and which has affected a very bad way and so that some of the pisan section rebelled against mughal authority one of the most prominent example of that is sheikhs they always uh, challenged mughal authority but it was not during the time of akbar after akbar the rulers who uh, were ruling the mughal territory they were not so uh, competent to deal with the problem with sensitivity so this much about jabt and the zamindar here i want to mention one more point that the people who are the village headman or who are the having the power in a particular village area those people are being termed as zamindar by the mughals on behalf of mughal authority they are collecting taxes and giving to the royal treasury so here very important uh, point we are getting the term zamindar and what is the role of the zamindar now we are almost in to our uh, towards our uh, session of this chapter the most important part that why this successful mughal empire finally get lost finally lost their control over uh, their region there are a lot of problems we this problem can be uh, shorted out in a few uh, important points so you can see the slides that points are uh, given here i have adopted some new method to express or to um, explain the thing not through only the discussion rather with the key points with visual treatment let's see the points and try to find out more information about these particular reasons end of this session you will be getting the recapitulation part and finally some questions which will be related with the topic we have discussed here i am going to give two more questions that is related with not from your syllabus rather which you need to tickle your mind and find out the answer by yourself let's see the next slots
Oh, oh, oh.